In this video, I'm going to take two bits of firewood and turn it into a capsule. So this will be the main body, this will be the lid. That's the plan anyway, let's take it over to the lathe and see how we get on. So the first thing to do is turn this round, and I want it to be round from about here to here. Okay, we're making quite good progress, but we just need to get rid of all of this outside bark. So we've just got a, a cylinder. Uh, we obviously want to make the cylinder as big as we can go. So um, we do have quite a large couple of cracks running through. So we may need to put a little bit of CA glue in there, but we'll, um, we'll suss that out once we've taken all of the sides down. We do have a few cracks in there. I don't know how far they go through, but I can see this one goes to at least there. And as we're hollowing out, that could well tear out and be a bit of an issue. So what I'm going to do is feed a little bit of CA glue into those cracks and rough it up with some sandpaper. The dust from the sandpaper fills the cracks and the heat from the sandpaper will also help to cure the glue as well. Hopefully that will be enough just to hold those together while we hollow out. You won't even notice them once we've sanded and, uh, and polished. And even if we do, there's kind of quite a nice little, uh, little feature, little talking point on there. What I'm going to do now is start to just uh, clean up the face of this and then start hollowing out. So what I've done is hollowed out, cleaned the edge. I will need to level this down because it is sloped out a little bit there. Um, but for now, what I want to do is just turn the bottom of this down into a kind of a curve shape. And that will be the bottom of our, our little box. I've started to make the capsule and uh, I came to a close last night, it was getting quite late and then um, got back to it this morning and I'm just looking at it again with fresh eyes and I think I want to go a bit deeper 
in uh, in there hollow that out a little bit more so it follows the contour of the side of the capsule a little bit better I always do this I always uh, put it down for one day and then come back the next and decide what I want to change it so um I'm probably not the only one um yeah let us know if you you do the same as well or is it just me being a bit crazy anyway I'm going to pop this back on the lathe hollow it out a little bit more and then make a start on the second half of it as well Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna remove it from the chuck and start to work on the other half. And once we've got the other half, we can use the other half almost as a jam chuck and then take off that bottom bit and round that over. Okay, so we've got the other half mounted in the chuck now. So what I'm gonna do is just clean up this end here and then shape this down to match for the same diameter as the other half. And then we do have some cracking issues similar to the last piece of wood. So we'll put a bit of CA in there as well. Hopefully they won't break out. I know I'm taking multiple passes at this, but I really don't want to overdo it and be too loose on the lid. So just small, tiny bits and then try it, small, tiny bits, try it until eventually it gets a tight grip on there. Okay, we've now got that to fit. As feared, squeezing it on there has kind of opened up that crack a little bit more. So what we'll need to do is put a little bit more glue in there once we're done. Um, but what I've done is you put that on there and now I've marked out how far down I need to take this other half. And then we're just gonna do a small cap, I think, because I need some space to turn that down there and leave still a little bit of, um, of wood there into the chuck. As you can see, I've put a load of CA glue in the crack, so that should hold that together nicely. I've done the same in the other side as well. So what I'll do now is just use a scraper to take all of the excess off and smooth this down. And then we'll get a paper towel, wet paper towel, and put between these, and that should hopefully hold it together while I even this out so they're nice and uh, level and the right size in diameter and then we can start to work on taking the ends off and then um, and then finishing and then we should be done Right. 
Right, so that's all the glue taken out. I will need to finish these again now as a result, but never mind. Um, what I have heard works is if you put some wet paper towel over here and then use that, put that in there, it makes the wood expand a little bit and it locks these two together a little bit more. I'm not quite sure how much I trust that. Um, I'm going to turn the, uh, the lathe speed down anyway, just in case. And then we'll go from there. Yeah, we'll just bring that tailstock in there whilst I get this evened out. Because if I do end up um, with this flying off and cracking, I'll be gutted. So, uh, so yeah, rather be safe than sorry. There we go, a nice little two-piece capsule made from a couple of bits of firewood. Definitely not without its flaws, there's a few cracks here and there that I had to fill with super glue. And my workflow needs improvement, definitely. I keep seem to get things uh, in the wrong order and end up doing certain jobs twice, like finishing and sanding. Um, but otherwise, you know, I'm quite quite pleased with it. It's uh, it's, it's fun to make, and it's you know, it's um, just more practice behind the lathe, which is the important thing for me at the moment. But one thing that did blow me away with this is when I selected the wood from the shed, I picked out two what I thought were random logs, um, and it wasn't until I finished the project and put these two together that I realised it must have been two bits of wood from the same tree, because you look through here. And the grain pattern matches up. You've got the rings that match up, and even all the cracks match up. So complete fluke, but actually it kind of um it makes me even more fond of this piece. So again, a nice little piece to practice on. And if you've enjoyed watching me make it, then I'd appreciate you subscribing to the channel, leaving a comment, telling me what you like about it, what you'd like to see me do differently, or perhaps areas that I can improve. And also, you, you may remember, is we've got this block of aphromosia here that in a previous video I declared I would make into something to give away to somebody when we hit 500 subscribers. Well, we're not there yet, but that offer does still stand. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you leave a comment in any of the videos, you'll be entered into a draw to win that one. If you have been. Thank you for watching.